Hello fellow crustaceans, welcome back to the Seagull Claim Everything. Unfortunately I had some audio issues with this episode, so I'm currently doing a post commentary. Never done it before, let's see how it goes. Uh, right now we're on the shadle ship, talking to a robot. Primus, state your business. I can go in, that's great, nice and easy. And he's a guard. That gun made it kind of obvious. This is Herr Schadel, I suppose. What do you want? Ich bin very busy. How German. I have excellent qualifications for my current position. My abitur grade was 1.0. At university, I studied bullshit German word with an emphasis on marketing and management. I worked very successfully in another bullshit German word, in the something something the something, until I was promoted to my current position. Good for you. I believe in order, austerity, and always being on time. I notice that all three of the important political figures we've run into have been these skulls. That seems a little sketchy. Tell me about the fortunate isles, Air Shadle. Or, or I'll point out that the smell of the day is red tape. I can do that too. The people of the fortunate isles must have to understand that. Is it Zat or Dat? They so must have understand the people of Lord Urzen's kingdom cannot keep paying the markets and banks for the laziness of others. We have a saying in my country work will make you free. This is what they must embrace. That's not sketchy at all. Albright macht free? No. No, not a good idea. That didn't work out great last time. Nor is it a subtle reference. I mean, holy shit. And I'm taking a long time to read this, so I need to think of something to say here. No, I do not have this recipe. You must have been misinformed. However, if you will fill out this 12-page application for information standard offending, we can begin an investigation into the matter in the next three years. Nice and prompt, just like I'm used to. Who are you a representative of? Certain political extremists have claimed that I do not represent all of the people in the holy corporate bureaucracy of Yon. Shameless comments of this nature only show the undemocratic perspective of utopian anti eurozone Pretty sure that's not what undemocratic means. Pretty sure if anti yurzenism is called utopian, that means it's better than yours. Yurzenism. Maybe. Either way, we didn't get what we came for, so let's look around the room. A safe containing important pieces of paper. Even just looking at these pieces of paper will cause armed people to kidnap, imprison, and torture you, just like America. And a photo of Herr Schadel's previous place of employment. Some place in fall or hell. Not not really sure which. Uh, some kind of holo holographic projection device. That looks similar to what Eddie uses. But you can't turn it on, I guess. So, not sure what to do with that. Private property, culture, and politics in the Fortunate Isles. The Antichrist by Frederick Nietzsche. I haven't read anything by Nietzsche. That's private property. Hey, Primus again. You are searching for something to help. I am programmed to be your enemy, but I am defective. Sometimes I attempt to disarm myself. I have an incorrect aversion to destruction. There's a memory in my circuits, a memory of flight. The fault has not yet been detected. The recipe you seek was not misplaced, but destroyed, I figured. However, I have saved this page. Take it, thank you. For what? I didn't really do anything for you, Primus, but thank... And now, looking at my objectives, trying to figure out what I need. Scroll of recipes. Oh, what he just gave me, of course, is the recipe for the potion of change. I guess I need a uh, Kabatic Kamoon, Mellow Mushroom, Tementis Tomato, and Pyrogenic Poppy. 
I don't think I have any of those. Fantastic. Nor do I know where to find them. Well, there's <laughs> salt to taste. It's little things like that that I really think make a game. Because, I mean, you could just say, collect these things, put them together, and you've got what you need. But the attitude that things take to their problems is just so important to me. Liquid cheese. Yeah. Highly poisonous. Can be used in alchemy. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting comment. Uh, urizen, actually. I just happened to Google it, and it turns out that urizen is a character from a mythology created by William Blake, where he is sort of, sort of a god figure, sort of a devil figure. He's like the master of law and social norms, but he uses it to ensnare people into like doing what he wants them to do. Not the nicest. But it's just pretty neat, and that seems like what Yurzin is doing in this game, too. I thought it was a nice parallel. Port Dara Town Hall Door. Uh, I honestly don't remember which of these I do next. Make the glue. We have the recipe, but not enough stuff. Oh, investigate the murder. Of course, that's what we do. So let's just go to Saraka, shall we? As soon as I, uh, pass me, finish reading this. That's the end of that. Look. Map time. Not sure why I went to the unspeakable cave, but... Let's ask a lizard about murder. That's the best idea. Yeah, I just kind of mess around in Sadaka for a bit. I don't remember exactly what I need to do. It turns out I was actually supposed to just visit the oasis and talk to the shaman there after I visited the Isle of Becoming, but I never noticed that, so. An oasis, I noticed. Yeah, Sinjil, Egidus. Perhaps, yeah, I have to talk to him about the unspeakable cave. Uh, you have found that which Hashim was seeking, a dream of the future. That is what he believed this his city needed and that he is why he is, was murdered. This I believe is what his father needs to know far more than which of the many guards loyal to General Mguma was the murderer. That's nice to remember the positive things about him rather than try to figure out who killed him. I mean obviously try to deal with whoever killed him but always remember the best about people I think is generally a good strategy. Here's the father. Tell him about the Isle of Becoming. Ah, that sounds like my boy. I'd almost forgotten. Pain is such a big thing. It sits on your chest and it presses out the air until you remember nothing except what it's like to hurt. I always knew that the guards had killed him, but it seemed so... so pointless. To, you know... But now I remember who he was, no matter what they said about him, no matter what they did, and I understand what he died for. How can I thank you for this? There really is nothing I could give you that could match what you have given me. Nothing at all. The very thought is laughable. And yet, take this small gift from an old fisherman, my son would approve. He believed in sharing what we were blessed with. That's nice. He sounds like a nice person. Salmon of wisdom! We needed one of those. Tell me about Hashim. Once, when Hashim was very young, he came to me and asked why it was illegal to change one's gender. I tried to give some response in line with what the mayor always said, 
that we should stay on the path we had always been on, for otherwise we might get lost. What if the path doesn't lead where we want to go, Hashim asked. What if there's another path? What if we think we're on a path, but it's really not the path at all? Just the tongue of a big monster that disguises itself as a path so it can eat unwary travelers. I didn't know what to say. I was proud of him, but also scared that he might say something like that to the wrong person. So I told him not to think about such matters. I regret that now. I told him not to be such an obvious political commentary. Because really, subtlety is an art form. And this game doesn't really try not to be blunt. Which is pretty funny, because it's spot on, too. And it's things we don't always think about. Let's talk to a cat. Hope you to find and make that potion. Hmm. Let's see. Now, here I just spend a while looking through my objectives, so I'm gonna cut back. Right now. Except I open it up again right away. Now here I spend a while looking for ingredients. Unfortunately, I'm not terribly successful in finding them. I might spend some more off-screen time just looking for ingredients, but I'm concerned that I'll find too much story. And I'm not really sure how that would end up working out. Pyrogenic poppies. I know where it is, but I need gloves to collect it, unfortunately. That was a pretty funny comment about the uh, drug smugglers making opium from explosive poppies. I can't see any way that would go wrong. Hills of Helios, the cliffs, with this turtle that was afraid. That's good. Hills of Helios, where we found Diam, but nothing is here. Yeah. There are a few islands, actually, where there's not much left, and I feel like it's just really hard. There's a bit of, like, uh, pixel hunting, trying to find out where all the ingredients are, because really, I, uh, I believe it's in this episode that I find another ingredient just by luck. I was clicking on everything I saw, and if I hadn't been doing that, I never would have found it. That is the one thing that I don't like about this kind of game, when they force you to just go and try to click on one specific tiny thing without indicating well that that's what you're supposed to click on. Yes, right now, actually, we go to the Shadowy Glen, and we look at just a couple of mushrooms watching the water flow. More mushrooms that can take up to a month to go in and out of the water. I love the descriptions, because they're all actually pretty unique. And sometimes really direct. Purple mushrooms. Based mushrooms. Based. It thinks very highly of Williams. I don't know. Eggs of a lunatic. So yeah, here I was. Mellow mushroom. <laughs> Keg of beer broke apart next to these mushrooms last week. I think they're burned. The mushroom is trying to scare the other one. I guess that's a thing mushrooms do. Yeah, see, here we go. The fairies who hang around under this mushrooms may look dainty, but their tongues and hands don't bother them, they won't bother you. That's the repulsive squishly. Very easy. Not a mushroom. Water wheel made you. Okay. Cup for tasting beer.
to measure the pressure inside the room, I guess. That's what sometimes. I didn't actually know that was a thing, but they do. You can blow things up with alcohol. Like, not even setting it on fire, just making it, and I think that's crazy. Interested in classical music. And Marty Do. Black Dog. Squawks is, but we got one. 